This is Cheap Joker coming at you. Today what we're going to be talking about is motorcycle brake fluid. We're going to be changing out the brake fluid in this motorcycle. Harley Davidson recommends that you change it out every two years. So let's get this video started. I was watching some of my clips and I could see where it may be kind of confusing. So I wanted to explain what I was doing in reference to changing my brake fluid. I have a picture of the master cylinder, brake line, brake caliper, mighty vac, and a bleeder valve. What I did first was I emptied the old brake fluid from the master cylinder. What I did is just use the mighty vac, put the tube in there, and extracted the old brake fluid. I still have old brake fluid in the line. I came back to the back, put the mighty vac on the bleeder valve, opened it up, and tried to um, extract whatever was left in the line. Close the bleeder valve up, put fresh brake fluid in the master cylinder, and put made sure I had pressure on the mighty vac. Open the bleeder valve up where I'd be extracting new brake fluid through the brake line and back to the rear caliper. When you do that, the master cylinder is going to lower. You do not want the level to lower below the brake line where you're going to allow air into the uh, um, system. So as it gets close, you turn the bleeder valve off or close it. Refill the master cylinder with fresh brake fluid. Make sure you have pressure on your Mighty Vac. Open up your bleeder valve and extract more new brake fluid through the system. And what you're going to be looking for, probably out this clear tube, you're going to be looking for probably the old brake fluid will be coming out and then followed by the new fresh brake fluid. Look for air bubbles. If you have air bubbles, continue to do this process where you have no air bubbles whatsoever. And that's how I changed my brake fluid on this motorcycle. All right, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna drain the brake fluid and put new fluid for the uh, rear of this motorcycle. First thing you wanna do is take off your reservoir cap. Looks like inside there. You can see it's all kind of dirty. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get that out before we do anything. All right, now what I'm doing is using a muddy vac system to extract the brake fluid from the master cylinder. And as you can see, the brake fluid coming out of the master cylinder, you can see how dirty and filthy it is. What we're going to do is take the end of the muddy vac and place it over the bleeder valve. And with a 3H wrench, um, we are going to use that to open the valve. But before we do, we want to uh, put some pressure on the uh, muddy vac, pump it up anywhere from 10 to 15 pounds and then we're going to open the valve with our wrench and that should extract the brake fluid that's left in the lines. All right, we got it pumped up, opening the valve. Just doing it real slow. You can hear the air from the from up there sucking the air in. I'm just draining all this fluid out cuz it's all nasty. What we're gonna do now on this particular motorcycle, on the cap, we're using uh, dot five. I don't know if you can see that or not. On your newer motorcycles, newer Harley Davidsons, it's gonna use dot four. I've got a bottle of brake fluid from a Vance Auto part. It's just dot five brake fluid. So what we're gonna do is going to try to So we don't make a mess and again remember brake fluid is corrosive so it will eat paint so just try to uh, keep that in mind uh, i don't know if you can see try to try to get this in here see what color this is it's a, a purple color i don't want to see how that purple the clean fluid right there. All right, we're down here at the uh, rear brake caliper. We got the muddy vac hooked up to it, and we're gonna open this valve. And here's what's gonna happen is when we start vacuuming the brake fluid through the brake lines, 
the in the master cylinder level is going to lower we do not want that master cylinder to go dry because that's just going to put air back into the brake line so as it gets down low we're going to fill it back up and continue to pump so we're going to open the uh, valve You see that level going down? Mm -hmm. All right, try to get a shot of that level. As I'm pumping, I'm pulling the that brake fluid through the line. Now there's nothing coming out on the uh, brake caliper as of yet. Okay, what we're gonna do. Okay, you see it coming out, start coming out? All right, it's starting to come out. And we're gonna let it come out. And I'm going to close it off. I'm going to close the bleeder valve off and we're going to fill it back up. All right. Paint. Hold that together so it just, to, just fill it up to the kind of close to the top you can without spilling. Okay. That's good. Don't get that on your clothes. I'm going to come back down here. Open it up. I just wanted to catch this on camera. You see the purple in the tube? Okay, you have the old brake fluid that was in the line, and then you have the purple. The purple is actually the new uh, brake fluid. So that means whatever was in the master cylinder is getting to here. Now we just gotta make sure the air is out. And see there's still a little bit of bubbles. We got new brake fluid in the uh, lines and uh, new brake fluid in the master cylinder. What we need to do before we do anything is to pump the brakes to make sure that we actually have pressure in the uh, lines. Otherwise, when you go to use your motorcycle, you will not have brakes. So you can see as I'm pressing them, the pedal goes almost to the floor of the uh, floorboard. But as I keep doing that, it's gonna start building pressure up and now it's not nah. so this is going to be a test basically before when we were bleeding i could not I, when we did the uh, back brake put this tube on the valve or the bleeder valve it uh, it did fine but when i did it up here on the front caliper it did not well, reading some reviews, they suggested that the uh, I wasn't getting a good seal, and it was air was coming in from the outside here, and that's why I had a whole bunch of bubbles, which I did, and it wasn't really a, a, a whole bunch of fluid coming. It was just a, kind of more air and a little bit of uh, fluid. So I'm using the zip tie to try to cinch this down a little bit, just so I can um, try to get a good seal around there and see if that works. Okay, look at that. Nice, thick fluid 